What's up, everybody? Celtic Scarecrow here, back in our video with those 10s and 20 views. Yes, we are back here in the Haunted Forest Football Stadium because I am doing a mock draft, and not only a mock draft. This is high risk, high rewards mock draft. Pretty much means every team is going to take the biggest gamble that you can make, or at least I think they could make to vastly improve their teams. I also do have hockey on in the background because I am dyslexic with a slight bit of ADD, most likely. So I need a couple things going on, and the Devils are beating the Rangers 1-0. I'm a Pens fan, uh, and we fortunately didn't make it. But in this series, it's New Jersey versus New York. Of course, me being from the haunted forest of South Jersey, and living 10 minutes away from where the actual Jersey Devil's from. I'm rooting for Jersey in this series. But that being said, also, I do have to talk about the big trade that just happened today of filming, and that is the Aaron Rodgers trade. I like it for both teams. The Jets get their quarterback, and they got stuff back. The Packers got stuff back. You've probably seen it now. The Jets are getting Aaron Rodgers, the 15th overall pick, and the 107th overall pick of this draft. Packers get the 13th overall pick, the 42nd overall pick, the 207 overall pick of this draft, and a second round pick next year, unless next week on a first, if Aaron Rodgers plays 65% of the season. I think someone did the math in Tom Grossi's chat, so that's like 11 games and one quarter. Why couldn't you just do the math saying he has to play 11 games? But enough of that. We uh, Let's get to it. But I am not using pro fantasy football because to unlock anything and everything, <coughs> they're charging. Like, oh, I want to go faster? No. Can't do that. Want to make a trade? Do that? No. It's just, just so I can show you what I mean. Like, if I'm making a trade, I can't offer trades without paying. So, goodbye. I am on the website profootballnetwork.com slash mock drafts. I will have the link in the description. Also, on, I will be doing a live stream of the draft because I am a big football fan, and I did it last year. I think I did it on Twitch. I'm not on Twitch anymore, but I'll do this on YouTube. Also, this is how I will be doing the live stream because I am dyslexic as hell, and spelling is not my forte. Also, I got all the teams right here. Easy to update. Also, if any trade happens, I can do it. But that's it of the long-winded introductions. You'll see Actually, the pop-ups are more or less off-screen. Nice. So, with that being said, in the high-risk, high-rewards mock draft, the Carolina Panthers, my fair teams, they are selecting, not the puppy in the ad, Will Levis. Yes, I, I thought about doing Anthony Richardson here, but Will Levis has... Everything you would want in a quarterback. Big, strong, mobile. And this is where he gets the, the nod over Anthony Richardson. He's smart. He's like, he has that little bit of, like, they took that test and he was in the 93% range. So, I should be Anthony Richardson. No, 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 no. It is Anthony Richardson. No, change plan. It is Anthony Richardson. He's the bigger gamble. Of the two, he is the bigger gamble. Anthony Richardson is just like Will Levis. Big, strong, very big arm. He does need to work on his mechanics. This is just from what I saw of what little of that, which is why I said he probably should have gone back to college and worked on it. But Carolina has a ton of quarterback NFL experience. And with Andy Dalton there, he doesn't have to start right away. He can honestly sit for a year. I know that's something Carolina fans don't want to hear. And be perfectly fine. And then 
have all those problems fixed. That being said, moving on to Houston. Their big high-risk, high-roar move is the trade. And the trade in division to the Colts. They need a lot of help. They need a lot of pieces. They need... Oh, I have to actually click Houston. So, and it's like they're just getting the second and just seeing what Carolina had to give up. It's the first. It's your second. It's a first tier second and probably a third first round pick but as you see i can't offer that third round pick uh and because you know i control this and also this really helps them out because look at all the picks they would have a first they would have three firsts next year uh a second next year and they'll have another they'll have three picks in the top 40 and that is just nasty like they'll have the fourth the 12th the 33rd and the 35th of this year so that is the big trade and then moving up there and they are drafting probably who actually what they seen they might be drafted and it is will levis the cardinals what is their big gamble big move is actually the same thing as you know in my opinion that and they are trading and they are trading to a team that everybody hates. And they're going to hate even more because it is the New England Patriots. I clicked Arizona. So what is they giving up? New England, they're going to have to give up the first. It's going to be something. It's a similar thing. And probably a... Can I choose a... Why is that the only option of the running back? For a third, uh, probably involved... It, maybe even like something else, a player or something. I don't know. It's just, yeah, throw in the 40 seconds just to be consistent. This helps the Cardinals out. They get more picks. They still have a top pick. They have their quarterback and they could probably go get somebody else there. And, but because of this, that does mean that CJ Stroud goes to the Packers, which is makes that NFC, a AFC East really entertaining. Uh, high risk, high reward. There is no like high risk, high reward. The risk here is he's short. That's it. That is it. That is the risk. That is the, everything. The only thing I don't like about the site, I don't see what the teams really need. So, and they're, they're going to get to a team like, um, Seattle, who I know nothing about. So, uh, best available. Uh, Lions, and this is high risk, high rewards. It's Jalen Carter, which is going to make that defensive line nasty. Like I said, without I, I almost need something that tells me what every team's biggest need is. Every NFL team. NFL biggest draft team need. Can you just show me what hand over? I have an idea. I'm using Pro Fantasy Football on my phone to see what every team needs. So place my phone up here. And I can just simply scroll down and haha. -ha, cheating because you know this site doesn't have needs. So I need to see what they need. All right, back to draft. Who's up? The Raiders. They need a quarterback. No, they don't. They uh trade it for Jimmy G. Quarterback, O lineman, D lineman. There is no high risk here man it's this is all reward for them they are get the first choice of offensive tackle bam atlanta high risk high reward what are their needs quarterback wide receiver defensive end again all rewards here you got you got right here 
the the bears, the bears, the bears, the bears, they get uh, Witherspoon as the uh, Eagles. First team that actually goes, gets to go back to kind of the theme of high risk, high reward. And at this pick, they're taking B. John Robinson. They're off. Everyone says he's the Christian McCaffrey build like style. So with that Eagles offense, you just gave Jalen Hurts a running back coming out of the backfield and doing all sorts of running back like things. That's not fair. Uh, Tennessee needs a receiver. Uh, but unfortunately, oh, they get Jalen Addison. I, that I've heard I've heard great things about him. I did not watch much of USC this year. Actually, I didn't watch much college football because I worked. Because this isn't paying the bills. So, Houston, high risk, high reward. You need everything. And that does mean literally everything. <laughs> but you have your quarterback. Uh, you need weapons. You need playmakers. You need things around him. Quintel Jones. He's the first of the people that pop up here. You're going to go give your quarterback. Ready to go. You're going to go get your quarterback that weapon he always needs. Green Bay Packer, this isn't high risk. This is all rewards. And, you know, like I was watching Tom Grassi and he was saying offensive linemen, so you would think I'm going here. No, no. You're going to piss off Aaron Rodgers on his way out by drafting Michael Mayer. My opinion, best tight end in the draft. He was the only reason why Notre Dame was any good this year. Yeah. Arizona Cardinals, you're back up. Guess what? You need uh, the Cardinals. Yeah. Guard, you need offensive line, defensive line, corner. Congratulations. You got the best offensive lineman. All reward. I said you got the best offensive lineman. All rewards. The Jets. You now have Aaron Rodgers. He has weapons. You according to this app, you need a tackle and a linebacker. Well, guess what? Patrick Zeronski. Aaron Rodgers got a better lineman. Jets are getting better. Jets could honestly win that division. Uh, the commies. You need quarterback, running back. High risk, high reward here. Is actually someone who's not going to be in all these picks. All these potential picks. Now, you're going... I'm actually going to have to look them up. I just, oops, you just went, it's my bad typing. You're drafting Hayden Hooker. You need a quarterback. He can be a quarterback. If his knee, if he did not get hurt, he is arguably would have been the number one overall pick. Uh, Joey Porter Jr. Did Joey Porter play for the list? Tell me that. Uh, Steelers, you need tight end linebacker DB. I want to say Joey Porter played for... I'm going to look that up real quick. I know there's someone potentially in the comment section. What am I talking about? I don't have a comment section. I'm lucky to get a comment. Yeah, Joey Porter played for the Steelers. Played for Miami... Yeah, play with Steelers. Ding, 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 ding. So, the, all reward is you get a you get a really really good corner and a legacy in Pittsburgh. Uh, Detroit Lions all risk all rewards. Uh, I'm about to make you honestly terrifying. The mouse is already over who you're getting. You need wide receiver, tight end. Oh, you need a tight end. Never mind. Where's the... There you go. Dalton Kincaid. A lot of people think he's the best tight end of this draft class. Who knows? Who did I give you the first high risk card worth? Oh, Jalen Carter. I always gave you a quarterback, but... <sighs> uh, at 19, we have... The... What the hell? Uh, Buccaneers. They need, according to this... Everything. So you get the highest rated guy. You get Trey Wilson. 
He is the highest rated person on the board. I can't tell you if that's going to make you better. I think you. I hope you burn all year long because you're in my division. Seattle Seahawks, guard tackle that you kind of... Did you already have a draft pick? You did. You took a defensive end. It helps if I remember these things. What's a high risk, high reward for you people? Or all reward for you people? Let's add another wide receiver. So you have Geno Smith. So high risk, high reward is actually going to be the quarterback Turner McGee. I love Stanford. And here's why. Geno Smith is good. He's not the future. There you just drafted potentially a future who can sit behind Gino. I, if one of these four didn't make it through there. That's who I would pick if I was you guys. Next up, the Chargers, because the Dolphins forfeited their pick. Wide receiver, O line, linebacker. Corner. Oh, good. There you go. You get number seven, Christian Gonzalez. All reward. All rewards. Baltimore Ravens, what are you doing? What are you doing? Have you signed? Uh, Lamar Jackson, have you given up? What's going on? But you need a wide receiver edge corner. Well, I don't see any wide receivers edge or corners here. So, oh, actually it's a corner. One over there. But you have two edge rushers. Take your pick. I'm giving you a kid from Georgia. Or I'll give you the highest ranked one. Vikings, you need wide receivers. Wow, Vikings, you need a lot. A lot. You need safety here. Here's Brian Branch. He's from Bama. He can play football. It's Bama. And defense. So you're good. Jacksonville. Congratulations. No one's... No, no. I'm giving you a lineman. I, I know it's high risk, high rewards. Your quarterback is your high risk, high reward. Not protecting him is your high risk. Your reward is keeping him upright and staying in the game. <laughs> now on to the New York Giants. The G-Men. You signed Dalen Jones. Why? 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 According to this, you definitely need a wide receiver, a center, linebacker, and safety. Well, the fact that you you're in a vision with Jalen Hurts, Nobody at Washington and Dak. Let's give you a receiver. I'm not figuring out like who is the top wide receiver left on the board. Oh, say, say Flowers, Boston College. The Cowboys. You know how tempted I am and just going to, uh, Screw it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Quarterback. Because I just want to see the chaos. I honestly want to see the chaos. Wow, he's not even rated. High. Where the hell do they have him rated? Wow. You know what? We'll go back there. You, you. Ah, no. No. I can't see. You're watching me be an idiot right off the bat. You are going to grab a running back. You just got rid of your running back, so here you go. Here's your new running back. Buffalo. You know, I have nothing for you. You need a D-lineman, linebacker, and corner. I personally think you need to keep your quarterback upright and stop being killed back there. Your reward is a healthy quarterback. Cincinnati, I think you're in the same ballpark, but it says you need tight end. And this is a deep tight end class, so there you go. There is your tight end. We all like tight ends. Uh, Saints. Uh, another team that can burn, for all I care. But you need... You just drafted a quarterback. You just traded a quarterback. You need help. But at the same time, you're now in a division 
that has no quarterback. No real quarterback. Wow. You are the only one with the legit starting quarterback. You don't need much help there. So you need offensive alignment help and all high risk, high rewards. Uh, here, defensive edge. Just pick on the other teams with. You're gonna need offensive line help. Eagles, I don't like you. We all know I don't like you. But your biggest weakness is always right now is your middle of your defensive line. Teams will run the ball on you. High risk, high reward is to stop people from running. You're going to take the kid from Clemson. And last but not least, Kansas City. You don't need nothing. You don't want nothing. The biggest risk I can see giving you is giving... Is what wait the heck just happened here? Is to give you another weapon so you get Josh Downs, wide receiver from North Carolina. That is it. That is the high risk, high rewards draft. Um, personally, I can see the first two things happening. Carolina could draft Andy Richard. I'm I'm at the point now where I can I've talked myself into being okay with any of the draft picks, the quarterbacks for Carolina. We have coaches with experience. We have our head coach was the guy who started a QB for Carolina, and then the true star came in and he stepped aside. So he knows that process. Andy Dalton is way contempt with where he's at in his career, that he will have zero issues of that. I I can't really see... Uh, I can kind of see Houston thinking that they need so much to just give their division rivals a star quarterback and still know at four they're getting a star quarterback. The hatred for New England if they move up to get Stroud with we melt the internet. We'll melt the internet. And other than that, like, like I said, I don't know enough about a lot of teams. Like the Lions, I just gave you a nasty D front. So that is it. That's all I have. Tell me. What do you think of the high risk cover? Which one is the biggest risk for you? Which one do you think is more likely? There's a couple I do think are really likely. The uh go back over here. Like, I really can see Carolina drafting that. If Will Anderson falls, that is very plausible. Um, P. John Robinson to the Eagles. Michael Mayer to the Titans. Quentin Johnson to Houston. These are all, like, this whole section is just reward. Like, oh, look, young a more or less young quarterback. Here's a great pass-catching tight end who knows how to just get open. I would love him in Carolina. Like, if somehow Carolina got up and got him, or he fell to Carolina, I'd be, like, giddy, and that would be the jersey i buy. <laughs> Hayden Hooker to Washington is a high plausibility. They need a quarterback. His age, and it's only because of his knee injury that's why I he's not in the potential for number one. Because other than that, big, strong arm, mobile Mobile, but like stay in the pocket. Yeah, he's 25, but if he plays 10 to he plays 12 years, that puts him at 37. 15, he's at 40. Aaron Rodgers is in his 40. Tom Brady played beyond his 40, so that's it. That's all I got. I will see you. Not you. I'll play Spider Man again. I am playing Spider Man. But I will see you, weird people, Thursday for the draft. Take it easy.